and I'm back with another lesson on kindness. So last time we talked about uh, kind words, using kind words, and kind actions, and how those help to facilitate a lifestyle of kindness. So today, we're going to talk about kindness with our attitude, okay? So this one can be real tricky. How many of you struggle with uh, having a kind attitude all the time? Think about it, okay? Think about it. When someone is getting on your nerves, is your attitude with them kind? What about when someone is unkind to you? Or what about when things just don't go your way at all or go the way you want them to? Does your attitude show kindness? There's only one person who has complete control over your attitude, and that one person is you. So take control of it. When a situation happens that makes you feel irritated or selfish or some other unkind emotion, take a deep breath and choose to react with kindness. You know, how do you act when your sister or your brother comes in your room or takes your things without permission or when your parents or your mom and dad ask you to clean your room? Is your response to them uh, kind? Is your attitude toward them that of kindness? Okay. Is this something you struggle with? Ask God to help you. So when you're, uh, when you're, when you feel yourself struggling to have a kind attitude, pray and ask him to help have more kindness in your heart and less of whatever else is going on. God loves you and he wants to help you. So ask him for help. And we ask God by praying to him, okay? So Job 6 and 14 says, anyone who withholds kindness from a friend forsakes the Almighty. So in this verse, fear doesn't mean shivering in a corner, terrified or scared. It means to revere or respect, okay? So here it says that withholding kindness from a friend is forsaking the fear of God. In other words, if you're not being kind to those around you, you aren't respecting God. And that doesn't sound too good, does it? Okay? But that's how important kindness is to God. It's so important that in his word, it says that withholding kindness from a friend is withholding fear and respect from God. And that's a big deal. So it's important to show kindness to everyone, even people you don't feel like being kind to, no matter what people look like on the outside and no matter what their life looks like on the outside, no matter how they feel on the inside, you never know what people are going through. So it can never hurt to be kind to someone, but it can hurt to be unkind to them. Have you ever heard the saying, uh, you may be the only part of Jesus that someone sees? It means that there are some people in your life who may never go to church, who may never open up a Bible. So you are the only exposure to Jesus that they may have. So in the same way, there may be some people in your life who think of Jesus as mean and scary because they don't know him. And they've never been truly introduced to him. So you may be the only example of his kindness that they ever see. And that's a big responsibility. So going through this next week, when your nerves are bad, or when things happen that you don't like or you want to happen a different way, just remember how you respond to those things. Remember how you respond to people around you, those closest to you and those that you may not know. Always remember to have an attitude of kindness, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.